the state of monarchy is the supremest thing upon earth. For kings are not only God's lieutenants upon earth and sit upon God's throne, but even by God himself they are called gods. Kings are justly called gods, for that they exercise a manner or resemblance of divine power upon earth. For if you will consider the attributes to God, you shall see how they agree in the person of a king. God hath power to create or destroy, make or unmake at his pleasure, to give life or send death, to judge all and to be judged nor accountable to none, to raise low things and to make high things low at his pleasure, and to God are both soul and body due and the like power have kings. They make and unmake their subjects. They have power of raising and casting down, of life and of death, judges over all their subjects and in all causes, and yet accountable to none but God only. They have power to exalt low things and abase high things and make of their subjects like men at chess, a pawn to take a bishop or a knight and to cry up or down any of their subjects as they do their money. And to the king is due both the affection of the soul and the service of the body of his subjects. A king, governing in a settled kingdom, leaves to be a king and degenerates into a tyrant as soon as he leaves off to rule according to his laws. In which case, the king's conscience may speak unto him Govern according to your law. And though no Christian man ought to allow rebellion of people against their prince, yet doth God never leave kings unpunished when they transgress these limits. The higher we are placed, the greater shall our fall be. The taller the trees be, the more in danger of the wind. Therefore, all kings that are not tyrants will be glad to bound themselves within the limits of their laws. And they that persuade them the contrary are vipers and pests, both against them and the commonwealth. For my part, I thank God I have ever given good proof that I never had intention to the contrary and I am sure to go to my grave with that reputation and comfort that never king was in all his time more careful to have his laws duly observed and himself to govern thereafter than I. I conclude then this point. To dispute what God may do is blasphemy. So it is sedition in subjects to dispute what a king may do in the height of his power. But just kings will ever be willing to declare what they will do if they will not incur the curse of God. I will not be content that my power be disputed upon, but I shall ever be willing to make the reason appear of all my doings and rule my actions according to my laws.